Hello everyone around the world, how are you today? Boys and girls, tell me how is your day today? How are you? I hope you had a great day, I hope you're still having a great day because today I return with the Man of Medan episode 4th. Sorry for the deletion of the video, sorry for taking so long time to continue this series and also for the videos but I had to deal with some sickness, I had some really tough days. I will not say anything more. Let's just dive into the game and continue into the story and let's see what will happen. What's this? A camera, I guess. Waterproof 30mm. Oh. Okay, it's on. Okay, we took some good. Photos here. Oh, who was that? Damn. Alright. Let's just leave it back, I guess. And continue over here. Yeah, it seemed a little too dangerous for my blood. Don't sweat it. I'll go down with you and we'll be fine. Oh. Uh, I'm gonna go find Julia. Hey, almost time for barbecuing. Got the pad yet? Sorry, I got distracted. No worries. Let's go get it. All right. Got it. Let's go up. Come here, you vixen. Hmm. Easy, tiger. We should get back. Right here. All right. You'll get no resistance there. All right, everyone, check it out. Manchurian gold. Who wants to find some sunken treasure? So what do you think, Captain? Coordinates? Those are coordinates, all right. Maybe the plane's destination? You think we could get there by tomorrow? It takes a couple hours if the weather stays steady. Wow. You find anything else? This plane must have been shot down because it was riddled with bullet holes. I found one mm. lodged in the fuselage. Huh. And it was full of life rafts. Must have gotten shot down before they could deliver all the rafts. There was only one missing. Reckless. All of you. Excuse me? I told you to leave everything down there alone. Oh, come on. We've been through this already. I'm not talking about the law. No, hey. They were respectful. No, you did whatever you wanted. Whatever you took, it was too much. Uh... Mm, apologetic, I guess. You're right. We should have been more careful. That's not me. I'm sorry. Okay. Let's just a Maybe. bit not make it a little bit more. I don't know you. Tense, you know. You should have never gone down to that plane in the first place. It's bad luck. You think you can scavenge down there and it makes no difference, but every single thing you bring back has an essence. It's like a ghost you invite to the surface. Here we go. Huh. I never thought about it like that. You never think about much of anything. Well, maybe I never heard about such cool ghost stories. They're not cool ghost stories. Not like for fun. People drown in these waters and you have to respect their resting place. Damn straight. She's right. kind of... You got a fun ghost story, right? Right there. Y yeah, I heard a story. It happened right around here, too. Let's hear it. We could all use a good show. Uh, let's hear it, yes, of course. Let's hear it. I bet you can spin a good yarn. It's kind of messed up, actually. Scare away, little bro. Okay, here goes. This story is true. It had happened right near here, in an old lighthouse. Classic setup. Wait, true story? Where'd you hear this? If you need to know, it's ripped right from the rotting pages of the terrifying ancient in-flight magazine I was perusing on our way here. The lighthouse stood atop an atoll, isolated from the rest of the world, a lone beacon in the night, a sailor's respite. The lighthouse keeper would hear the waves pounding the rocky shore. One misty morning, he comes upon a woman, covered in blood. She's stumbling down the beach. He hurries to her aid, and she falls into his arms, sobbing. As he hurries her back to the lighthouse, he asks where she's from. He doesn't waste any time. Smooth. Oh, God. Uh, 
Amused. Key of the one track mind. The woman answers. I live here in the lighthouse. My parents are upstairs right now. Twist. Of course, the lighthouse keeper says, that isn't so. Of course, he's lived there alone for years. And the woman becomes hysterical, and his sister parents are upstairs. So, I heard the, the movie. Of the I saw him over actually like that. Lay down on the floor with Nicole Kidman. A man Dickman. and a woman brutally murdered with an axe. Always an axe. I mean, do people even Not use axes axe anymore? Not with an axe. And the movie was not use of axe. Cliches and all. Chopped up into little tiny giblets with an axe. Uh, provocative. You know, sometimes you have to embellish the facts a little to get at the deeper truth. It's okay. Okay, so who did it? So the woman, uh, she's still hysterical, says her husband did it, and he's still here, in the closet. Ha! <laughs> the husband, eh? <laughs> so is this a warning to all future brides? Hey, no backseats. You're locked in. So the lighthouse keeper creeps over to the closet, opens the door, and sure enough, there's a man inside. Mm -hmm. But he's cut his own throat. Horrified, okay. he looks closer to see the dead man's face in the dark. Closer, closer, and he sees it's his own face. And then its eyes bulge out and screams. <laughs> what the hell, man? Super twist. Nice. What the hell? Nice one, Squire. Appreciative. You have me going. Pretty cool. Get me on the cheese there, corn dog. Okay, you've all had your fun. We should all turn in. There's some weather hitting our way. Uh-uh. No, no, no. No, because according to standard vessel regulation, we're all required. One more beer before hitting the hay. What regular issues are these? Uh, it's standard issue, regulatory, institutional protocol, subdivision 1099. Uh-huh. <laughs> Where'd you read that? The internet. Oh, so you found a website that tells you to drink beer under every circumstance. I'm just following orders, ma'am. <laughs> I'm into this website. <laughs> and four good buddy. And I'm out. Well... That's quite interesting. I actually didn't expect a young man to do that. Well, the weather, alright. <laughs> Shit! Are these ghosts? Oh my god, listen to these sound effects. I guess. Criminals. That was kind of slow there. Oh yes, of course. He would return. Now I get it. Pirates. Okay. 
These are kind of maybe the fishermen I pissed off earlier. Oh, God damn it, Conrad. Great, just great. And the good news? Uh, I recognize them. How was that good news? I thought you were going to ask the good news first. You're such an idiot. Jesus. Hey. Alex, what are they going to do to us? Don't worry. If they were going to kill us, they would have done it already. I'm not yep. just worried about being killed. Uh, let's untie. Guys. Fuck yourself, you piece of shit. You're the little lady. Well, of course, the Mandler way. Man is tied up and let's torture him.
That's quite interesting of the event. Once we get Julia back, maybe we can take them by surprise. Okay, they're coming. Fuck, motherfuckers. Just have to wait and see what they want to do with us. Mm -hmm. I guess. Eight seconds. The storm's eight miles away. They came here on a boat. Maybe we can take it. Yeah. Yeah, it's a speedboat. The main guy, yeah. he's got a gun. If we play our cards right, we can catch him by surprise. Take him out. If you can distract them, I can sneak around in the speedboat. The dude with the gun won't even realize until I'm long gone. Seven seconds. I can get out through the window. We gotta break these off first. Too loud. They'll hear it. But we're gonna break them during the thunder. <sighs> Good call. I'll go through the window and get the boat. You guys, distract them. Conrad, just stay focused and get to the boat. Okay, let's do it. What the hell? Okay, what? interesting. Oh shit. Go. Damn. I screwed it up. Damn it. Bring them downstairs. Take this. Use it if you have to. Sit down. Over there. You. Right here. Sit. No. Arrêtez, bande de cons! C'est mon bateau! Stop! Ferme-la! Ou je te mets mon poing dans la gueule! Ok, that was rude. Which one of you is going to tell me about this Manchurian goon?
Okay, yes, please, I guess. when you had the chance. Yeah, I get it. All right, shut the fuck up! There's no harm in just talking. You wanna talk? Keep the volume down. I'm just gonna say it. Fliss has gotta be in on this. She and these guys, they travel in the same waters. She's oh. the captain and they barely laid a hand on her. Alex, what the hell, man? I bet you told them about the Manchurian gold. They're in cahoots. Uh, I can't believe what I'm hearing. I just lost everything I have, and this is what you think? You're all in this together. This is a trap, and you set us there up. There I am, so. Put a cork in it. You come with me. Hey, leave her alone. Find out how long the storm is gonna last. Do you try anything? Anything fish. And there be consequences. Course. Duke of Milan requesting weather update. Over. Duke, we read you. Everything okay? Over. Hey, uh, just requesting any information about this storm you can give us. It's a little bit hairy out here. Over. Big storm coming in from the east. Gonna hit you pretty hard, but should pass through your coordinates within an hour. Sound a little stressed, Duke. Please let me know if you need assistance. Not used to a little weather freaking you out. My uh my charter's been a little difficult. Not exactly going as planned. We're starting to have some serious I got the message and what so That was so close Wow That was really so close The split of the second Talking about a little There's bit too much to loud. I mean, I do not hear them. Like, really?
That's quite interesting. Oh. Everyone's still alive. Woohoo! Things could have been quite different. I guess. <sighs> what? Kind-hearted creature I am, I'd like to offer you some forewarning of what's to come. Tempted? Yeah, of course. Confident. You're going it alone. Independent. Admirable. Possibly. Shit! <laughs> we'll learn soon enough. I just rejected the help. Anyway, now that you've reached a point of significant distress, I presume you're eager to get back to your story. But here's a thing. Everything may not be entirely as it seems. What do you mean? <sighs> Probably shouldn't have said that. I think this is a trick to distract us from the true outcome. All right, everyone, that's the walkthrough for today. That's the video for today. It's going to be a long one. I think around 30 minutes, maybe a little bit less. I will see after the edits. And really, I'm kind of intrigued and interested to see how the story will go on from now on because of the events of what the curator told us of uh, the pirates and now that we found the second world war warship, the American actually. Hopefully we will not run into many jump scares, so I can have my heart in her place. <laughs> anyway guys, as always, thanks for tuning in. If you like the video, smash that like button, comment down below, comments are always welcome, so it helps us to get better and better for the future. Share that video if you like it. Anyway, I will not say anything else guys, stay safe, stay strong, and I will see you guys on the next video. See ya!